Vandals won the toss. They choose to receive, and the kick from Emmett McPherson will find the end zone. Ball with the running back Isaiah Saunders, and a short throw by Petrino is intercepted. So much for delaying Florida getting on the scoreboard. Here, number four safety on Marlon Mel Kuyper Jr. A couple of juniors. Well, Mason Petrino's got to be able to shake that off and come back. Well, Jeff Cotton just fell lower division. On a give, Isaiah is so quarterback for that matter, but they are very, very aggressive style. Petrino with a little flip to team that beat Alabama years ago. Petrino. A diving long, you can just about guarantee Florida's going to bring pressure. There was contact at the end of that kick and no foul. Or turn the play was over. Personal foul. Late hit out of bounds. Kicking team number three. So Felipe Franks in Florida with a first down from Idaho territory and a smack away. Franks. A little loft here. He's got Siante Lewis. Thanks. 27-yard play to Lewis, and now Franks keeps it and walks in untouched for a Gator score. Walks. The talk early last week was would it be Franks or Kyle? A short touchdown drive today. Fair catch made by Jeff Cotton. I know. He's been a big part of what? Mason Petrino oh, with a flip. Goodness. Oh. Roshan Joseph up the middle. Joseph, Roshan Joseph, little tackler for Florida. Now a third down. Petrino has nowhere to throw. And he. Eight and a half sacks with that one for Polite. And this punt, not a good one. Gator football, their own 46. Felipe Franks with a short one to Kadarius Tony. In a heartbeat. They'll flip it to him again. Tony waiting for the play to set up, and here you go. A reversal of field for Kadarius Tony. First and ten Gators, and on the ground, they fourth quarter. That's why those averages that we talked about at the top are so important. They Greg Knox handles the running back rotation. Special teams coach as well. This season, up front. Some change on the line. We'll tell you about after this play. A catch for Traven. Calls, very consistent up front. They miss him there. In the regular season finale next week. Franks gets it to Tony. Ninth play of the drive. Here's a handoff to P. Ryan. Of P. Ryan. Franks. Pass for Franks. Offense stays out. Fourth and a yard. P. Ryan hit. Got the surge. Did he get enough for the first down? Brother. Long way from home. So first to ten for the Vandals in the shadow of their goal line. That nickname. <laughs> I'll call you Big Smooth. All right, thanks. He said Petrino just one of five. There was movement. False start. Offense number 75. For the false start was a run play, and it's the same thing here. Saunders got to get out of the end zone. Idaho 43. Coffee, it's a low snap. He fields it and gets it away brilliantly. Jefferson all the way back to his own 46. He'll reverse Frank six for seven plus a rushing touchdown of the game and off play action He takes a rare deep shot and he you know, you got one running wide open like that deep Oh boy speaking of wide open that is Kyle Pitts the freshman From the Philadelphia suburbs and he's in the end zone here in Gainesville because he was a tight end in high school He's listed as a two grabs for 21 yards He's going to get in the end zone a lot more before he's done here at Florida. Done. It was never resumed. One play and done. The Dorian Clark, the starting corner from Jacksonville, who were scheduled to make their college debut. Four of them have netted at least a yard. Here comes Polite. Petrino gets away from him and completes the pass. That makes it tough to move the football. Another high snap. Coffee pulls it down. And this will be in the thick of that thing throughout. I like them to win it, though. Trayvon Gray, and they didn't even have the ball. Franks with a flip to Lewis. Oh, he loves to compete. Final home game for him, the red bar today. Franks will hand it off here. LaMichael Pirine, and Pirine shakes out of attack. 
Love it. Boxing fans out there. Franks up top wide open. Van Jefferson. 21 yards to the 25. Franks pulls it down. Looking long. And the pass. The offense was successful. Franks got it to Hammond. Took a bit of a lick at the end. Ohio State. Terps 0-4 against the Buckeyes in their Big Ten. Line. Four for Florida. They failed on one fourth down try, and the Gators convert here. Third catch for the red shirt senior, Lewis. What excites you? Franks, up top, touchdown, Van Jefferson. Rushing touchdowns on the year. Toss for two, running late on with a post route and an end route behind it. You could see it. Just trying to get is uh is hard to defend, but you're right. Two SEC schools hadn't scored on him in cons Radish right now in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> he was warning us all week. They run a different offense than we've seen. Saunders again. He's moved down to FCS voluntarily. A better geographic start. It. False start. Offense, number 66. Idaho football to start this second, and the pass got to Arizona. On the draw play, Saunders. Third and 11. Now third and 16. False start. Oh, no. No Offense, way. number 67. He the Florida 36. And Petrino, the former wide receiver. The first third down conversion for the Vandals. Saunders spun away. On the eighth play of this drive, Petrino. Some complement each other very well third and six here comes pressure Petrino Petrino pressured immediately flings it away and the bouting throwing lanes he's played very well Franks pulls it down on the run a little toss here for a first season as well could have been playing for an American Conference West Division championship right, next week this personal foul face mask defense number 20 from the 37, Franks up top again. Franks broken punt pass options with alignment are running down the field. Not the case apparently here as Franks connects up. Here's a flip behind. Scarlett gave it to Hammond. Hammond around the edge and into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. Nice. But he did throw a couple of blocks last week in the wood against South Carolina. Florida offense today, plus a pick six from Chauncey Gardner Johnson for the other school. See Franks out there. Dan Mullen told us Emory Jones will play today on the screen. The first play. Mason Petrino still out there at quarterback and keeping it off the edge the entire I'm wondering if he's somewhere in this stadium today brother coaching quarterback so you had Paul who was quarterback for his dad and now Mason playing quarterback for his dad Paul three yard gain for Cotton on that one on the ground Saunders well, you could hold us the way he wanted his players to look at this game Mason throws short first chapter Chapter two, four years later, a draw play. Son He's seven for seven cents. Coffee from 42, and he missed it. Teen on the Buckeyes. Maybe a look ahead spot for Ohio State with Michigan on deck. Yeah, I, th I think that was the plan all along, was to just get the offense some footing for a half. Franks off his back foot. Watching Franks throw it. Quick pitch here to Tony. Is every bit of 240 can run and boy can he throw it Franks touchdown Cleveland point out it's not just the quarterback they've had issues in pass protection and he has spread the ball around here in the first half Jeff Cotton fumbles a second kick and gets thrown down after being hit around the base personal foul 33. Unnecessary roughness, number four of the kicking team. Been able to convert. Petrino completes Hinesville after five years of Vandals football. On the keeper. Florida has struggled on third down D this year, but a lot of third and longs today. And Petrino hit as he throws. Off he to kick.
down to the 24. Emory Jones in the game, meanwhile, at quarterback for Florida. This year, you know about you can play four times and keep your red shirt for the next year. Emory Jones coming out of Heard County in Georgia. Here we go. Here's the first Florida pass for Emory Jones. It's a long one, and it's 20. And an empty backfield for Jones, who will step up and scramble. You salivate over this if you're a Florida three. Jones keeps it, fires it, completes it. First down and more. But, uh, he had the right guy. 35 on his first Florida completion. This one to Hammond. Hammond to the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. First career pass. A perfectly thrown ball drop. By no doubt. I mean, you're right on the fringes of a New Year's Day bowl game in year one. And on that side of the ball, he just coaches up the defense and... Dan can really one week and then rev it up the next week against better talent at Florida State. Starting the second half, it's a 10-10 score with the Citadel. Petrino fumbled in, on the opening uh, play of the second half, so the Citadel's got the ball in some pretty good positions. It's, it's given Alabama problems in the form of the triple option. Eamon goes right down the field. Completing a couple of passes and a nice touchdown with precision in the first half. Second half starts with an Emory Jones toss. Through his first pass today. Right away from day one, he embraced it. Jones in the handoff to the freshman, Damian Pierce. Oh, is he good? He Out of the backfield, can you protect the quarterback? Jones with a clean pocket, nowhere to throw. No pass protection here. It's a route run. Dan Luther was in the NFL. Long time Detroit Lion. Jones third and long. Right to the side. Jones. Zips it. Special slur used by Zach Smith. Talked to Dan Mullen. He said that was disgusting. A lot of young players in the game and making contributions. You know, even on the offensive line, Christopher Bleich. Who they really like. Well, Jones bobbles the snap, and Idaho will pick up the takeaway. Gotta love it. Well, both teams now, the backup quarterbacks in. Nikhil Nayer gets his first action in high school. A strong baseball player as well, and he gives it to. It hit for the first time, it just becomes football. Nayer's first pass doesn't make it pass. It's a little scary how much talent there is. Yeah, the first two years right now for these Gators. That punt from Coffey hit one of his loss on that license plate. Emory Jones with a flip. Jacob Copeland has it. They come in at the end of the year, play a couple of games, and keep the red shirt. Jones with a dart. 20 yards to Crow. On first down, Iverson Clement. Next week, and they have to go to Emory Jones, so you don't want him wide-eyed. Going into having to go in. A Different from LaGrange, Georgia, and Heard County High School, but he's playing. And that, that wouldn't be a bad way to burn it. Jones, nice. touchdown, Damian Pierce. Nice. Damian Pierce, third total score of his Florida. Has had a tough year. Paul's father, Bob Sr., legendary D2 coach, passed away earlier this year. And then Bobby Petrino, of course, let go by Louisville. Well, you're right. Oh, was sort of a football nomad in the 90s before transitioning up past the FBS Bowl just two years ago after they had announced they were making the switch down. A little shovel to Saunders backwards for only 22. This is not going to be a 22-yard punt. This is a great kick by Coffey and Jeffrey. Yes, level. The long-term Get back to some more traditional geographic rivalries. Get back into the FCS level. That's going to pay huge dividends. Look on his face. Jones pulled that ball out. Jones, a highly touted freshman, number five dual threat quarterback in the class. They get home. Illegal substitution on the kicking team. 12 men in the formation. Missed for many years right there. And a great punt by Townsend off the simple thing the folks in L.A. are doing, giving away tickets to the men and women who are so bravely. 
Mason Petrino back in the game. And Petrino on the boot. Runs it for a first down. Man, you got to give me a flag. That's, that's got to be. After the play, personal foul. Late hit defense, number 77. After this play. Petrino pressured. Pressured by Jeremiah's first trip of the red zone this game. Second and ten. Here comes the house. Petrino got rid of it. There was a great well character for a Western offense. <laughs> Number 66. That's one on paper. Third and 15. Petrino end zone and incomplete. Oh, kick it a field goal. I know. I'd kick it on fourth and 15. Cade Coffey. Because they're in the same conference, but how many could actually get UCF or would want UCF on their schedule right now? Now here's Jacob Copeland on the return, first and foremost. Step up and play them where you add to your strength of schedule with a win to get you. UCF is going to a New Year's Six Bowl. There's a chance and a, a good one if both of us have been here for that. That was awesome. Not a, not a full capacity Florida crowd today with only research. the finest. Yeah. Up early. Up at 4 a.m. listening to Petty today. R.J. Raymond is in the game right now at tight end. Jones hit as he throws. Ungerer. Nice little return. Great music. Great football. You are way over my. One of the crown jewels of SEC country. Mason Petrino run in the big sky. Pressure coming off the edge. Petrino's been running. Outside. Outside. Defense number 41. Students used to walk back. Petrino will pull it down, try to get the 39. He does. Said Mason probably thinks I'm pretty hard on him, but I tell you, it's nothing. It's probably not hard to catch in that family. Petrino. Big sports night in Orlando. UCF, Cincy, 8 Eastern, ABC, the Lakers, and Magic as well. Thanks. Hate it. You were in an offense called the run and shoot. Yeah, well, the run part. Oh, I know it. I know. know. That's a different kind of run, though. You don't have 300 pounders chasing after That's you. That's true. He went before the marathon. He goes out the night before Dan Mullen. First year's Petrino running a half marathon in the backfield and <laughs> taking it. No. He, he, know, he may not want to stop <laughs> until he has you in his this mouth. This is going to happen. And Emory Jones, the quarterback, somebody should stop the music. <laughs> Take on me by Dan Mullen, the offensive coordinator here under Urban Meyer. Now the head coach is his freshman. There's Pierce again. Part of that recruiting class it was a strong one. Yeah, guys transferring in, man. Before Jones committed to Ohio State in July of 2016, he committed to the box. Seven minutes and 10 seconds to go in the quarter and a low snap. Jones. Yeah. Idaho trying to find the end zone here in this season finale and yeah. Mason Petrino is intercepted. Off his back foot and this is going the other way for the Gators. Ventrell Miller is gone. Uh, I like I like UCF. How about the other ABC game quickly? Oklahoma State, West Virginia. Now that is a good football game. I, I, I like Oklahoma State to upset. I, I do too. Good stuff. People who are wondering why Maury Povich was the guest picker, that is why. I like conduct. After the play, personal foul. Defense number 41, late hit. For safety, uh, uh, the imperative there. I think that was just Petrino's momentum. I just need to walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> M Moscow is about a day or so later is when you feel all the hits that you take it. Petrino will run it again. First down and more. Mason Petrino trying to get out of here with a score of the touchdown variety. Petrino. Continue to compete. Petrino for the end zone. Amari Bernie from St. Petersburg. On the ground with Roshan Johnson beat FIU 62 
to three. Here in the slump. Buckeyes lose, Gators win. You know Florida's in the top 12. Johnson on a fourth down. Figure the Gators will be a heavy favorite next week. On the slant, Cotton. Into that office, get the tape and talk about having thrown a touchdown. Uh, throughout the afternoon, and it's got him perturbed. Served this getting on out of here. Nick Sproles in the game at quarterback. And getting some time at running back here. And he'll take it again. This is valuable time for Dan Mullen and his staff. And a chance to honor some seniors, too. Iverson Clement fighting hard. 